Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Invasion. This is the Byzantine Empire versus Invasion of Rome. We have not seen the Byzantines for a long time. They're not a faction that gets played very often. So when I saw this being played I had to jump in as soon as possible and luckily I got in at the very beginning. Now Rome is a very tough faction. They, they're very tough. They have javelins almost in every single wave I think starting from after the first boss wave? I don't know if they have any right now. Maybe they do. Yeah, they do. No, they have javelins starting from wave one. Wow. That's a very strong thing to have. Because you'd be sitting here going into melee with a Roman soldier, and all of a sudden you get a javelin in your back. And you're like, oh man, there's a javelin in my back. Get all bummed out about it. Also, very soon, maybe after a boss wave or two, all these unarmored people are going to be replaced by armored legionnaires and it's going to get even rougher oh boy I think these are gladiators yeah these guys these guys will be pretty tough as well I do not want to take the brunt of the gladiator charge it's not something you want to be in or not a place you want to be in oh boy oh boy oh boy ah Ah! This is the Byzantine lens now. You're not welcome here. <laughs> ah! Ah! In the face! All up in the face. Ha! <laughs> You're not welcome here. Also, I think the Byzantines did get changed a little bit. I'm not sure in what edition it was, if it was the last one or the one before that. Because, like I said, they're not played that often, but I don't remember. Hold on. Oh, I got hit. Oh, this must be. This must be Spartacus. That's their boss. Yeah, I don't remember the armor that I'm wearing. I don't remember that being a choice, especially like this face mask thing. I don't remember that last time I played. So I think they've been updated. Oh, they get cav already too? Oh boy. Oh boy, Equites. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me find a safe spot to say thank you. Thanks. See? Wait a minute. Yeah, no, that was, yep. Thrown from in front of me. You don't even see it coming because they're, they're being thrown from back here, you know, behind rows and rows of infantry, so you don't even notice. You don't even know to have your shield up. Caught a javelin in the cheek. Oh, that's so strong. Alright, well, let's see. That was a guard I was playing as. Let's try a Byzantine man-at-arms. Is that the crossbowman? Oh, they actually have a pole arm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with... I like this face helmet. Uh... Go with that. Leather boots. Ugh. Go with a. Go with that for a pole arm. Go with the one hander there, and then a shield. Cool. And hope that everyone gets past the next boss wave. I recently saw an extended trailer for the new Star Wars series coming out. When is it coming out? October? 
I think it's October, maybe September. It's the Star Wars Rebels show, and yeah, that, that show is looking pretty, pretty cool. As a fan of the Clone Wars, this show is pretty cool. Let's hope it's as cool or better than the Clone Wars. I'm, I'm hoping it is. It's got Freddie Prince Jr. starring as the, one of the main characters, and yeah, you know, Freddie Prince, he was, he, he kind of came around in what was like the late 90s as kind of like this heartthrob actor, but he kind of faded away really quick too, because, well, he wasn't amazing, but his voice work as, what was his name in Mass Effect 3, Vega? Sorry, Lieutenant Vega, uh... I think it was Vega. I'm getting... My, my brain is saying no because Vega is a Street Fighter character, but I think it was Vega. I think. Well, you know who I'm talking about if you play Mass Effect 3. And he did pretty good work in that. I also saw him in the animated movie for Mass Effect 3, which centered around him and his, his team, kind of his backstory, which talk, talk, uh, talked about his first encounter with the... Not the Reapers. With the... The bad guys from the second game, who were the, like the Heralds, the Reapers, Collectors. His first encounter with the Collectors. And that, that was a pretty cool movie. I suggest you watch that if you haven't seen it yet. And that also, of course, was starring him because he was redoing his character. And that was pretty good. So, I, you know, I, I, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how he does in Star Wars Rebels. Something I never thought I would say. Freddie Prince Jr. I'm looking forward to seeing him in, in a role. <laughs> But to be fair, the roles he played in when he first came around, like I said, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, were usually roles I didn't care to see anyway, or movies I didn't care to see, except for Wing Commander, which he starred in, and that movie was, well, that was a movie. Someone spent time and money making that. It was okay. I, I actually had a huge rant on it probably a couple months ago now in a full invasion video so if any of you saw that you should probably remember that one yeah wing commander what an amazing movie that was so yeah looking forward to seeing rebels also has the actor who plays as i, I like him best i think in as a Colonel Tavington in The Patriot, which was released in the late 90s. He also played, I think, more of a broader role. He played as the, as a bad guy in the Harry Potter film. He had the white hair. He was the father of the dude everyone hated, Malfoy. He was the father of Malfoy, uh, that guy. He's playing as a bad guy in this series, so that's pretty awesome. I've always enjoyed his roles when I've seen him. He plays a really good bad guy. And then, of course, you have Stephen Blum, which is a pretty famous... Blum? Blum? I think it's Blum, which is a really famous voice actor that's been around for, well, I should just say actor, who's been around for a long time. His voice is very iconic, or, or very distinct, I should say. So yeah, shaping up to be a cool show. There's a lot of good talent behind it. And we're going to lose. The Centurions are too much. They're just destroying everything. Oh! Oh! You know, speaking of Malfoy, really quick, I, I did mention a little while ago, last week or so, that I watched the first Apes movie, and Malfoy, that, that actor is totally in that movie, and he totally plays this just jerk. This dude that is just terrible. And I'm like, oh man, you've been typecasted. You're only going to be getting roles where you play this terrible person now. I was kind of surprised to see him in there. An interesting weapon. Just a, like a longer spear blade on a shorter... Interesting. Hello? 
<laughs> Got some. Hopefully we do better this time. Oh! Shield up, shield up, shield up. Not this time, bastards. Don't give me the cheek again. At least gladiators don't throw javelins. Oh no. Woo. Oh jeez. Hello. Oh, that's Spartacus. You can tell just by how long it takes to kill him. Uh, I think he's been nerfed. I want to say the gladiators used to take a lot more ow. A lot more hits, especially Spartacus. That's okay, I wanted the new armor anyway. Ha! Ah, new and improved. Shield up. Yatsa. Wait, what? F me. What? <laughs> what did I do? Oh no, it's coming to help you. Oh, that calf. Take this pole arm in the face. Come here. Ah! <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm going to pull back a little bit, get into some more of our own infantry back here. Haha! <laughs> I'm a horse for you, sir. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... Where is everyone at? Ah! Whoa! No! Javelins! Why? Or Pila? No! Ah! Damn your Pila! Oh man, that must hurt. Just having a peeler right in the side of you. Oh my goodness, like that's right in the ribs.
Probably some internal bleeding going on in there. Ah! Oh no. Okay. Alright, you guys. Hold them off. I shall return. Someone pull this pila out of my side. No, why was the pull accepted? We're not dead yet. No. Ah. For the same map against the same invasion just as the Celts or Gauls or whatever. Come on. Really? Really? Alright, well, that's going to be it then for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.